snitching tonight. Uh, you you came out and pretty pretty much established yourself uh, early, pretty dominant. Got a lot of strikeouts, only uh, one run allowed. Uh, yes, how did you feel about this start? Uh, I felt really good about the start. I took the first inning, was feeling good, uh, could execute more than just my fastball, and um, I just attacked the zone with confidence. Um, and I mean that was that was huge because you guys got, you had the offense behind you. How how comfortable are you pitching with a lead, or do you do kind of do you kind of prefer a little bit closer game? Where oh, I definitely prefer to pitch with the lead with the guys coming out in the first inning and Geo parking that ball. I mean that gives us the whole team the confidence and the uh, just knowing that we got this game and we're in this game and we're here to play. Oh, uh, when, when you get uh, pulled for for Schofield. Uh, did you want to stay in, or did, did, did you lobby to stay in the game? Um, I'm good with that. Um, I'm always good with the, well, another one of our guys coming in and doing their job, just like they're supposed to. Um, so, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with the way everything was played out, and great. It was a good start. Do you feel like uh, this is a good start for your guys uh, hitting the Sun Belt Conference, getting that first win out of the way? Yes, getting that first Sun Belt Conference win. It's huge, definitely home field. Um, I think it's definitely got our confidence up and right where we need to be. Thank you very much. Um, let me get uh, your just uh, impressions of the triple. Tell me about uh, your approach to the plate there. Uh, well, I was sitting on, on a fastball heater, and uh, Coach Bills told me, you know, if it comes in, just keep your hands back. And I kept my hands back and threw the barrel to the ball, and it got down the line. So I was just trying to do something for the team there, move the guys over. Uh, you showed quite a bit of speed there on the base pass, getting to third. And uh, uh, did he did the fielder have any trouble down there in the corner fielding? Did, or, or did, was there something that told you to try for third? Well, to be honest, I rounded first, seen him still in the corner, and I thought I might be able to get three. And I rounded second, and I seen Coach Donnelly holding up his hands, and I tried to stop, and I about fell. So I, I, j I just kept going. So it's the luck, thank Jesus, that I was safe. So, <laughs> to be honest. What, what would have been the reaction from your coach had you run through the stop sign and not made it? Uh, he probably wouldn't have been happy with me. I would say imagine. that right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, as far as the hit goes, um, did, did you know what pitch that you got? Or was it fastball, could you tell? Uh, it was a slider. Um, I was setting fastball. Um, you know, I luckily kept the slider fair. Just got enough of it to where it stayed fair. So, um, let me I ask Drew this. Uh, give me your impression first of uh, uh, helping the team get its first Sun Belt Conference win of the season. Uh, it's really big for us. You know, we faced a tough opponent last weekend, Southern Miss. You know, we had them uh, very close games, all three of them. Uh, so we we knew coming into this series that they were going to be good. They're a good ball club, but that we definitely had what it takes to get a win here. So. Then you have one more thing. You've been swinging a hot bat lately, going back to Southern Miss. What has been different for you at the plate these last four, five, six games? To be honest, uh, just stuck with my approach. You know, it's baseball, and uh, you know, you're going to fail. Stuff's going to happen. You're going to have street times where you don't get a hit. But uh, just trust them what the coaches have been doing with us and staying with the approach I've always had. So. Uh, to uh, finally get the uh, uh, win on the getting the win column. Yeah, the conference. conference conference W. It's the first one. It's, it's certainly a good one to get. We got good starting pitching from Drew Harlow. I thought the home run by Ferraro in the first inning was really critical. It allows your starting pitcher to settle in a little bit. No, he's he's pitching with the lead right away. So I, that was a critical uh, hit for us. And we got a couple other big hits. Owen Ayers with a with a hit, a multi RBI hit. Eli Vogel songs triple, scored two runs. Those were two big hits for us. I thought we played really well on defense, too. We had the one comebacker with Drew and, uh, and some communication at second base. Other than that, we played a very clean game defensively as well. That's our brand of baseball. That's what we need to do. We can win big games if we continue to play clean like that. Well, and I was going to ask you, you know, which impression more the, the timely hitting of the offense or, the, or, or Harlow getting going deep into the kind of getting a good quality start and then uh, Fulpin coming in shutting it down. But then you, you mentioned the defense. The defense has kind of been a high, a high point of this season. Yeah, and it, and it has to be. You know, we need to complement our pitching staff with, with our defense. We have the ability to, to be strong defensively. We just need to be consistent with that defense like we were today. Um, I don't know. The, it's both sides of the game, you know, the pitching side and the pitching and the defense was strong for us, and we got the timely hitting. You combine those two things, you're going to win ball games. Um, thoughts on tomorrow? Who you guys starting? Yeah, we're going to have Bryce Blevins starting. Our lefty will, will, will be our starter tomorrow, and, you know, we just got to come out and do the same thing. And it's, it's 
it's a simple recipe and, and you know if we can get guys on base and get the big hits when we need them continue to, to throw strikes and pitch ahead in the count like we did and play good defense we'll have another good ball game how big is it to win uh, the, the series well it, it's a home series you know and we just want to climb back up in those standings and those conference standings we got to do it one day at a time and we got today and we'll uh get a good night's sleep and get ready to get after them again tomorrow